What's going on? Gunshots in the store. Gunshots. And a 22-year-old black man, John Crawford, lay dying on the floor of a Walmart in Beaver Creek, Ohio. Shot and killed by a white police officer, as seen here on surveillance video, almost immediately when they approached him. Crawford had been in the store for several minutes, holding a gun and talking on his cell phone. An eyewitness named Ronald Ritchie called 911. There is a uh, gentleman walking around with a gun in the store. Is he got it pulled out? Yeah, he's like pointing at people. What did he look like? He's a black male, probably about six foot tall. Police were dispatched to the store, thinking they were headed to an active shooter situation based on the witness who called 911. They didn't know Crawford was holding a toy gun he had picked up in the store. Five weeks later, the 911 caller told the Guardian newspaper, quote, at no point did he shoulder the rifle and point it at somebody. He also said something similar to our CNN affiliate WHIO. He wasn't actually, like, holding it to get it ready to shoot somebody. Ronald Ritchie has not returned our calls for comment, and neither the police or the state attorney would talk to us about Ritchie, who is an important witness to the case. Crawford's girlfriend had been waiting in their car. After the shooting, police questioned her, accusing her of lying asking her where Crawford got the gun, even saying she appeared to be high on drugs. You understand that, that we're investigating a, a, a serious incident. You lied to me, and you might be on your way to jail. Where did you get this gun? Sir, I don't know. Later in the 90-minute drilling by police, word came that Crawford had died. Well, uh, to let you know, uh, you know unfortunately, John has uh, passed away uh, as a result of this. What happened there wasn't, uh, wasn't a good thing. Less than two months later, the grand jury's decision was announced. The grand jury deliberated and they returned no indictment. They decided that the police officers and the police officer in particular that fired the shots was justified in doing what he did. This weekend, Cleveland Browns wide receiver Andrew Hawkins honored both Crawford and Tamir Rice, a 12-year-old from Cleveland also shot and killed by police. Hawkins said he meant no disrespect to police. The number one reason for me wearing the T-shirt was the thought of what happened to Tamir Rice happening to my little Austin scares the living hell out of me.